one week since you looked at me Threw your arms in the air and said you're crazy Five days since you tackled me I still got the reference on both my knees It's been three days since the afternoon You realize it's not my fault, but a moment too soon Yesterday you've forgiven me And now I'll Welcome to Primo's Wrestling here on Shaw TV. I am Mike Arnott alongside Matt Critic, and we are at the 2013 PCW Premier Cup. Kenny Omega is here, the outlaw Adam Knight, Antonio Scorpio Jr., all the stars of Premier Championship Wrestling. Matt Critic, who do you think is going to win tonight? Mike Arnott, I believe Kenny Omega did not fly to Winnipeg, Manitoba for absolutely no reason. I believe he's going to go away with the Premier Cup. As I always say, Kenny Omega is probably the best of the best here in PCW on indie wrestling anywhere in the world. Kenny Omega has got my money. Well, that's hard to argue with. Kenny Omega is a two-time Premier Cup winner. He won it in 2005 as well as 2007. I believe the only man to win this tournament twice. So I'd say the odds-on favorite is indeed Kenny Omega. Welcome once again to Primo's Wrestling Canada here on Shaw TV featuring the stars of Premier Championship Wrestling. I'm Mike Arnott alongside the Matt Critic and we are here at the 2013 Premier Cup. Yes, 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 this is the Matt Critic, as always. Abel Wolf, Jay Walker here. I've never been impressed by Jay Walker. Abel Wolf, this is his first appearance here on the program. He looks like a squeegee kid that I wouldn't give a quarter to to wash my car. Well, whether you're impressed or not, Matt Critic, it doesn't really matter. Jay Walker is the current reigning PCW Canadian champion. And this uh, Abel Wolf is a newcomer here to PCW. He's another Lance Storm Academy graduate. So let's see what he has to offer. That's all fine and dandy, Mike Arnott, but you're missing the point as I am the Matt Critic. In between the ropes is the Matt these guys wrestle on. If you don't impress the Critic, you don't impress the fans. You don't impress anybody in the PCW community until you impress the critic. And I believe they call him the Matt Critic because he spends so much time with his back on the mat. Mike Arnott, I don't even remember the last time I watched a wrestling match here in Winnipeg, here in Manitoba, Denver, Colorado, Minneapolis, Minnesota. It doesn't matter. I've always got it done. Battle Royals don't count. And that's because he never stepped in the ring with the likes of these two men, Kenny Omega and Chris Stevens. I will agree with you to that. I have not stepped in the ring with Kenny Omega or Chris Stevens, but I have been in the ring with guys like Colt Cabana, I've been in the ring with Joey Terrifying. I've been in the ring with many guys who are world traveled. And I can get it done, and maybe, maybe here in PCW, when me and David Hart Smith make our tag team debut, maybe we will get it done here, just like we do everywhere else, and we take it. Speaking of world traveled, nobody is more world traveled, world renowned, sought after than this man, Kenny Omega. And his tag team partner is, of course, Chris Stevens, who is making his debut here on Primo's Wrestling on Shaw TV. As always, I call it right down the middle. I always do. I call it as it should be. But not, not to count Jay Walker and Wolfie there out. But Kenny Omega and Chris Stevens, they're going to kick their ass, period. Well, we'll see. Maybe maybe Jay Walker and Abel Wolf can pull off an upset victory, but I would have to agree it would be just that, an upset. Would you be upset if Jay Walker and Abel Wolf won here in this contest? Because I, I wouldn't be too upset. I would just, well, WTF. I don't have any stake in this match, so I could care less. I just want to see somebody get their ass kicked. This match is so important here on PCW. I've got $6 riding on this match. And if Jay Walker and Abel Wolf win, they'll both owe me six bucks. That's their PO for the night. They're gonna, have, they want a bus fare to get home. $6, I was just gonna say, what is that what you make in a week? No, 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 that's all I was gonna bet on Jay Walker and Abel Wolf. 
being able to win this match. I am not a sucker, I am the critic, and I know a good bet when I see one. Six dollars is all these guys are worth. Wow, well, right now, this is Abel Wolf making his PCW debut in the ring right now against Chris Stevens. Let's see what uh, Abel Wolf can do against an accomplished veteran like Chris Stevens. If I was Jay Walker, he is, a con he is an accomplished wrestler. He's the PCW Canadian Champion. I will give him that. I will give him his right to his Canadian title. That was a huge chop to Abel Wolf. And Abel Wolf, he, he, he looks like that doesn't even phase him, Mike Arnott. How tough is this kid? Unbelievable, big boot to the face. Maybe that one phased him a little more. Not so much, that kick to the face. Looks like it phased Chris Stevens. Although it didn't really mess up his hair a whole lot, it looked like it got him good in the jaw. Well, Matt Critic, we could be looking at the next Ultimate Warrior here. He seems to be impervious to pain. This kid looks like he is in undefeatable condition. Maybe I should have bet more on these two kids. Maybe Jay Walker and uh, Abel Wolf will be the next PCW Tag Team Champions. Maybe they'll get, maybe they've got Shane McLovin paid off to help them win this contest. Well, Jay Walker right now, he's trying to take it to Chris Stevens. And you know, he's got about 120 pounds soaking wet behind that leg drop that he just laid on Chris Stevens there. I don't know how much effect that's gonna have. Chris Stevens looks like he benches one Jay Walker on one hand and one Abel Wolf on the other. He's a pretty jacked up dude. I would compare him to uh, Antonio Scorpio Jr. Maybe that should be, maybe that should be contested sometime here in the upcoming months. Well, those two are certainly no strangers to one another. Chris Stevens, he is a KG veteran. He's been around the block more than a few times. This is not his first dance, Matt Critic. I, I don't want to place a look or uh, try to get quote unquote over, but Chris Stevens looks quite a bit like uh, John Cena with the shorts and the shoes and, and just the knee pads, and that's all he needs. Uh, he, he, he looks like John Cena to me. Well, Chris Stevens, he's not a fancy wrestler, but he knows how to get it done in the ring. He is vicious, he is brutal. And there we go, there was a tag to Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega taking out the newcomer, Abel Wolf. You can't get any more fancier than Kenny Omega. So it, it's good that uh, Chris Stevens is the nitty gritty because you need a good mixture like that. Look at Kenny Omega, look at that Inziguri. Look at the son of the ultimate warrior here, Abel Wolf. That Inziguri didn't even phase him. Yeah, Kenny Omega, he likes to team with Chris Stevens. They, they seem to complement each other very well. I'm not sure who has the uh, quote unquote crappy haircut here, but uh, it, it could be any one of these men. I will critique the haircuts just as I will critique the mat abilities. And Jay Walker just hit a beautiful TKO on Kenny Omega. Is that gonna be it? Still a little early in the match to put Kenny Omega away. And Chris Stevens came in to make the save just in case. Those two know how to work together. And once again, here comes the ultimate warrior, Abel Wolf, uh, trying to rescue his tag team partner, Jay Walker. Maybe Jay Walker will tag Abel Wolf back in here. Well, they're making quick tags right now. They're trying to double team Kenny Omega in the corner while Chris Stevens is distracting the referee. Not too smart on the part of Chris Stevens. Abel Wolf says he's gonna get it done right here and that's a huge accomplishment to be cocky enough to say you're gonna get it done against Kenny Omega. I think he's gonna need a little more meat on his bones to be able to pull that move. Kenny Omega is probably the most physically fit, physical specimen we have here in PCW. Any, almost anywhere in independent wrestling, especially here in Manitoba. Uh, Chris Stevens is a jacked up dude, but he's just not cut like Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is probably the most, like I said, physically fit guy. You do not want to challenge Kenny Omega. No, Kenny Omega is ripped, and not only is he one of the most physically gifted, he's probably the best wrestler in the world today. Watch this, Mike Arnott. I've seen Chris Stevens before, and this move is gonna take that Warriors head off. Oh, he held him up there. Devastating move from Chris Stevens. That could be all she wrote. 
Oh, Jay Walker just barely made the save. Otherwise, this match was over. I don't he know. It's a kick in the face for his troubles. I don't know if Jay Walker should have saved Abel Wolf. Abel Wolf should be able to save himself. And Kenny Omega and Chris Stevens look like two very intimidating competitors. I would have just stayed down. Well, Jay Walker's the PCW Canadian champion, so maybe he should be a little more concerned with saving himself instead of his tag team partner. That's absolutely right, Mike Arnott. Here comes Kenny Omega. Apparently not. Maybe Chris Stevens will have better luck. What? Apparently, that was all. And a super kick to Jay Walker. There you see Chris Stevens. There you see the experience coming out. Chris Stevens knowing where he is, knowing where his opponents are at all times during the match. Oh, that was just a knee right to the face. We heard that all the way here at the broadcast position. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you that that was just nasty. Well, you can hear that. You can hear bone on flesh. It's a disgusting sound. Oh, that was that was a disgusting sound. It looks like Jay Walker landed on his neck. And these disgusting fans here at PCW are chatting one more time. Yeah, I like to call them the PCW sadists. Oh, big power bomb right on to Jay Walker. Beautiful double team maneuver from. That should be all here. I can't believe Who they kicked, kicked out of that. Who kicked out? Was it both of them? I don't think it matters. Maybe they just had heart palpitations and just jolted from that just insane power bomb. I think I think Kenny Omega and Chris Stevens picked them up. They're they're just they're having fun right now. They're toying with these two rookies and they're teaching them a lesson in wrestling respect right now. This was Andrew Shellcross that put this match together, wasn't it? To toy with these rookies. Well, Andrew Shalcross, Shalcross, he's a sick, sick human being. We all know my thoughts on Shalcross. Well, apparently Jay Walker is not gonna let his tag team partner be subdued to, uh, it looked like the electric chair uh, maneuver on, on the part of Kenny Omega. Abel Wolf signaling to Jay Walker to get his Canadian championship. We don't see this kind of stuff from Jay Walker. He's not going to hit Kenny Omega. Well, Abel Wolf, maybe, maybe he's getting a little too big for his britches there. He's, he's, this is his first match here in PCW, and he's... Oh. He's got some serious attitude for being yeah. the first time here on, on the program. And you, you don't turn your back. He just took a shot to the face with the belt, and he's still on his feet. My God. And that'll be it for Abel Wolf. You're not gonna get up from a Chris Stevens super kick like that. I friggin' hope not. Oh, and they're they're adding insult to injury right now. That's 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 very disrespectful. That is physical and mental insult. I don't think Abel Wolf is gonna come back from that disgusting display of just no respect. No respect for Kenny Omega. Mike Arnott here. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a mild-mannered, even-tempered sort of guy. But you know what? Even I have my limits. And Andrew Shellcross, the so-called owner of PCW, has pushed me to my limits for the past seven years. You know what? I've already put you on notice. Drop the donut, chubby checker, because I'm coming after your most prized possession. I'm talking about the PCW Heavyweight Championship. And next week, I've got a surprise for you, bud. A mile-high surprise. One week since you looked at me Threw your arms in the air and said you're crazy Five days since you tackled me I still got the reference on both my knees It's been three days since the afternoon You realize it's not my fault But a woman too soon Yesterday you've forgiven me And now I'll
Smiling Jack Napier here at the Premier Cup. And I have to say, you can cut the tension with a knife here backstage. David London, why is that? Why does this cup mean so much to everyone? The Premier Cup is a prestigious event in PCW's history. It means everything to me, my brother, my family, everything we've worked for. It is the centerpiece and the last piece left to complete the cycle for the Commonwealth and raise us back to the top of PCW. Back to ringside. The verdict is in tonight. You've got Mark Merrick. Yeah, you know, they're always trying to get the leg up on one David London changing the card at the last minute, thinking like that's going to bother me. It doesn't bother me. I'm going to get in the ring, and I'm going to finish him quick because that's what the Greco suplex machine does. Half Nelson, done. David London, Mark Merrick. Let's get back to ringside.
You don't need a media monkey to make healthy choices. Think for yourself. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Sought after talents in the world of professional wrestling today. All you have to do is harken back to the time when Kenny Omega had a match of the year contest with a nine year old girl. That's absolutely right, and it's not hard to have a 10 year like Kenny Omega does here in PCW, winning all the championships that he's won here in PCW for the length of time he's been here again in PCW. Gotta give some of the other guys credit. Only a couple of years in the business, most of the new guys here on the roster. Uh, Jackie Lee is probably one of the best of the best here in, here in Manitoba, here in Canada, anywhere really in independent wrestling, just as bad as Kenny Omega. Well, Jackie the Jet Lee, we saw a few weeks ago Jackie Lee take on Scott Justice in one of the best matches that we've seen here to date on Primo's Wrestling Canada. And of course, these two men, Kenny Omega and Jackie Lee, are no stranger to one another. They both used to be a part of one of the most dominant factions in PCW history, the experience. Kenny Omega taking it to Jackie Lee now. Jackie Lee does not seem to have any position to reverse this. Uh, I guess he's just going to have to either submit or wait for uh, Kenny to get tired. Well, Kenny Omega, he's not one to get tired. He's been doing this for many years. He's a PCW original, and uh, it's going to take a lot to tire out a man like Kenny Omega. Well, I didn't think he'd physically get tired, just tired of doing that same move because it's, it's only going to take so much toll on Jackie Lee. Kenny Omega starting a little bit of a different offense here with some uh, brute force kicks and punches to the side of Jackie Lee. Kenny Omega, of course, known for being one of the most technically proficient wrestlers in the business today. And as of late, it seems that he's been really showing an, uh, an aggressive streak. That mean streak is really coming out in Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega has quite a bit of a mean streak as of late, uh, Mike Arnott, and uh, it doesn't stop him from his comedic entrance or his comedic acts or uh, facial expressions towards the fans, and uh, I believe that's what they like, no matter if he's in a bad mood, a good mood, or if he's in no mood at all, the fans are still 100% behind Kenny Omega. And of course, fans of the Street Fighter video game gotta series. Got to cut you off right here, Mike Arnott. What's Jackie Lee going to do? Suicide dive to the outside. Sorry about that, Mike. What, what were you saying about the Street Fighter series? Beautiful move there by Jackie Lee. And of course, uh, fans of the Street Fighter video game series will uh, recognize one of Kenny Omega's signature moves stolen from that game, the Hadouken. That's right. Kenny Omega has been performing the Hadouken, one of the only men to perform in professional wrestling. Uh, for many years now, and I believe Kenny Omega was the originator of adding the uh, anime uh, experience to his uh, move roster. Absolutely, Kenny Omega is an innovator. And you're seeing right now, you are seeing the innovative style. Beautiful, beautiful leapfrog bulldog by Kenny Omega. That could be it right here. Now, was Kenny Omega supposed to connect on Jackie Lee with the leg, or does he use the hand all the time in that maneuver? That was three, Mike. Unbelievable, almost an upset there from Jackie Lee. Right now, he looks like he's out on his feet. Kenny Omega can finish him off any time right now. What's he gonna do here? Into a beautiful German suplex. Gets the bridge and the pin, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny Omega is the first man to advance to the final round of the Premier Cup Tournament. Mike and I, we're gonna watch a replay of that maneuver. It was just so spectacular. We've gotta watch a replay here. Look, look at how he does this. Throws him, holds him, just holds him there, right on his head. Beautiful bridging combination. Two, three, and that.
AEW Community Heavyweight Championship. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, but maybe we should call it the Shaw TV Heavyweight Championship. Well, we know how much these uh, rowdy PCW fans love Shaw TV. Yeah, we heard that last week. And Leo London is tapping out for the first time ever here, Mike Arnott, on Shaw TV. Beautiful, beautiful heavyweight champion, Antonio Scorpio. No silver kick for Scott Justice. Went to the well one too many times. Oh, devastating. And that was night night for Scott Justice with the go to sleep. Probably the most famous move in professional wrestling right now. Maybe, maybe more famous than the Stone Cold Stunner is the go to sleep. Next week on the program, Kenny Omega and Chris Stevens. We've never seen Chris Stevens here on the program. He's gonna take on Jay Walker and Abel Wolf in tag team action. And I guess that's not it for uh, Mike Angel. The opinions expressed on the program you have just watched are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of this station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view.